Hey everybody, this is my 40 gallon waterfall tank and I just did a big water change. I'm trying to get it cleaned up and looking good again. We're going to be doing a chemi-clean treatment on this tank in the very near future. In fact, that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. It's going to be a feeding video, but while I'm feeding the fish, we're going to have a chat about chemi-clean. In the meantime, I want to have a look at the tank real quick before we get started because I can't show you the whole tank while I'm doing the feeding video. I have recently patched up the top section there where I believe my leak was and so far so good we're bone dry in the back so that means I have successfully found where the leak was and covered it up and we can make some more permanent adjustments to that later. In the meantime I've also turned up the volume of flow through the pump. I've got it up to not quite full but probably three quarters uh, volume and you can see we're getting a little bit of overflow coming down through my sluice there and that is providing me with a little stream of water that's keeping my java moss nice and wet and I'm hoping that java moss will start growing and filling in that area now I just put a new filter in there and that will get clogged up over the next few days so that water flow will uh, reduce pretty significantly as that filter starts getting clogged up so that's all I've got going on as far as anything new that's been going on to the tank. I did do a nitrate test on this tank before the water change. And again, I did about a 50% water change. And that was our starting point. So removing the tannins was really my goal for doing the water change so that we'd be able to have a nice good look in the tank and see the feeding video. So I'm probably going to be able to get the camera close enough that we can see from the top and the front but we won't be able to see the whole entire waterfall. So let me get the camera set up on the tripod and then we'll go ahead and do the video and we'll have a little bit of chat about ChemiClean. All right, we are gonna feed what I normally feed most of my tanks, which is the Marine Land Color Enhancing Flakes. I buy the large size containers because I go through a lot of it. And in this particular tank, in this particular feeding, I'm not going to worry about putting anything in there, specifically go to the bottom. I don't have any fish that really dwell on the bottom specifically, and a lot of this fish food will eventually make its way down there. Uh, we're getting a lot of splashing from that waterfall, too. I might have to wind up turning that back down a little bit. Anyway, I recently got a comment from somebody, and I hear comments like this from time to time, about how often I treat my tanks with ChemiClean uh, for cyanobacteria and how much issue I have with cyanobacteria, how often I'm doing it, and so on and so forth. And the truth is, I really don't actually treat my tanks as often as you might think I do, uh, based on my YouTube videos. I'm trying to straighten this water out a little bit. So I do have a few tanks that are problematic that I tend to get the cyanobacteria that comes back from time to time and I do have to treat uh, the tanks periodically. But the most I ever have to treat any tank is twice a year. I just have a lot of fish tanks. And so even if I was only treating six out of my 17 fish tanks, if I had to treat six of them regularly for cyanobacteria and I had to treat them twice a year that works out to at least once a month I'm doing a cyanobacteria treatment and that can seem like a lot of treatments you know that can seem like I'm doing that very frequently you also have to figure in the fact that I have a YouTube channel and I'm looking for topics of discussion I'm looking for things to shoot video of and if I'm doing a ChemiClean treatment, you can believe I'm going to be shooting video about the ChemiClean treatment that I'm doing because it's something I'm doing and something to talk about. So I might get three or four videos out of one treatment. A lot of my treatments will be sort of two treatments back to back. So it might be a five or six day period that that goes on. And I mean, that's one, that's 25% of each month is taken up with ChemiClean treatments. That seems like an awful lot of time to be treating for a ChemiClean. But when you think about it, if I only had one single fish tank that had issues with ChemiClean, I would literally be treating twice a year or less. 
Uh, the last tank I started treating with ChemiClean, I went back on the playlist and I looked through it, and it was six months to the week that I had done the last treatment on that tank. So exactly six months uh, between treatments. And again, the reason I did the treatment was so that I'd have something to shoot a video about. I was going to just use the gravel vac and remove a bunch of the ChemiClean, I mean remove a bunch of the cyanobacteria, but I thought, eh, you know, it's just as easy to throw an air stone in there, do a treatment, and then I can shoot a video and talk about that. So the reason I did the treatment was so that I could shoot a video and talk about using the ChemiClean. I think it's a great product. It does a good job. Uh, I have tanks that don't even get cyanobacteria in them, and occasionally I will use it just to sort of clean the tank out all that sort of grunge and growth and everything that sort of builds up in there it just wipes that out and you go through when you're done and you gravel vac it up and you get the tank nice and cleaned up and you're good to go for months and months and months even if you've got the recurring cyanobacteria like I have in this tank this tank is one of my fairly problematic tanks even though it's got very low nitrates I still get loads of cyanobacteria in this tank and so I physically removed a bunch of it with the water change the other day. I did a massive water change the other day. That's one of the reasons the nitrates were so low when we checked them tonight. Um, and then I did another 50% water change today. So tomorrow I'm probably going to start a ChemiClean treatment on this tank. I'll start shooting video about it. And once again, I'll be treating a tank for cyanobacteria, which will make it seem like I'm always running into problems uh, with my fish tanks and cyanobacteria and it's just it's really not like that it just seems that way because of the sheer volume of tanks I have the content I'm putting out there I'm always trying to shoot videos that'll help people especially the uh, people that are just getting into the hobby and the new people um, you know don't know about things like cyanobacteria and how to treat for it and whether it's normal and you should expect it in your tanks or not and I think my attitude towards it is probably a little different than a lot of people's. A lot of people treat it like it's some kind of plague and you just got to work relentlessly to get it out of your tank once it's there. And I treat it like the lawn in the summertime. You know, you got to go out and melt once in a while, but it's going to grow back. It doesn't, you know, just because I mowed the lawn once doesn't mean I'm done forever. It'll be back and I'll have to mow it again at some point, but you know, whatever. It's not a big deal to me. So having some green growth in my fish tank and every so often having to throw an air stone in the tank it's just it's so easy to treat with it that it's it's easier to treat the tank than it is to do a water change that's how easy it is to use the ChemiClean to treat an aquarium so for all the people to say oh you should try this and do that and do this you know I've done all that I've been there done that I've tried everything and it's just not worth it it's so easy just to throw an air stone in the tank put some ChemiClean in there and a couple days later the cyanobacteria is gone no fuss, no muss. I don't have to pull my hair out trying to figure out what the cause is. I don't have to try making all these adjustments and changing my lighting schedule. I throw an air stone in the tank, throw some ChemiClean treatment in there, and boom. I get six or eight months of not having to worry about it again. It's so easy that I just don't worry about it. I just don't care that it comes back in some of my tanks occasionally. And as I said, whenever I'm doing a treatment, I shoot video about it. So it seems like I'm always doing treatments. I also like to promote the product. I'm not sponsored in any way by that product or any product or any company or anything else, but I do like to encourage people to buy the stuff that I like and that I recommend, and if you buy it from any link that I've got on my video, I have no idea how much I get from that, but I get a little slice of that from Amazon if people purchase that, so that's an influencing factor. I'm not going to lie about that. You know, if I put videos out there with some ChemiClean in there and I've got a link down below, that likens my chance or increases my chance of somebody purchasing that product, you know? So, there's a lot of reasons why I shoot so many videos of doing ChemiClean treatments and whatnot, and it really doesn't have anything to do with me constantly battling ChemiClean and always, you know, trying to get it out of my tanks and always having problems with it. It's just not like that at all. It just may seem like that to the casual observer. So I've got to get on with getting all the rest of my fish tanks taken care of tonight. Everybody else is looking at me waiting for their dinner. So I'm going to get around to feeding all them and say thanks for watching this one. Hope that was helpful. Make sure you're subscribed because you don't want to miss the ChemiClean treatment we got coming up on this tank. And don't forget this tank is my 40-gallon waterfall tank. So thanks again. And I'll see you real soon in the next one.